I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Fire, fire, fire when the battle's heating up, heating up. Feel the clash. Everyone's alive when the cannons start to roar. Feel the power surging from the ocean floor. Hey, Tim is Ripper. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the USS Rhode Island, one of my favorite battleships. It was a difficult, I would say, uh, decision to make whether or not to drop all those resources to get the Rhode Island. But uh, unfortunately, it's not available anymore. It's kind of like FOMO that Wargaming does. But uh, before we begin, like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support. At 4,000 uh, subs, we're going to do another premium giveaway. But let's get to what is the USS Rhode Island. You can see right here, USS Battleship Firepower with 12 guns that really do a lot, a lot of damage. Great reload, good heals. Um, the heals are improved, kind of uh, reduced cooldown. And uh, the damage cons are standard, but really what shines about it a lot is the concealment's great. The secondaries are kind of like the dispersions similar to the Georgia, Ohio kind of style. Uh, not as great as a reload, but it's it's basically it has what the Ohio has, but it doesn't do it as well as I would like it to. And you don't build for it because the Ohio is way more tankier. Rhode Island is not. The, the biggest downside is the bow is not that 32 millimeter that we want. It's a little bit lower that uh, allows people to just either sit it out or just take you right off the bat. So something uh, that is not as uh, desirable in a USS battleship I'd like it I wish it was a little bit more tankier like the Ohio Georgia or uh, Mont Montana kind of style they look similar but it just doesn't operate the same way now the the speed is incredible the speed is very quick especially with the engine boost and then of course it's got the uh, the guns like I said but the very cool sweet thing it does have is the radar but the funny thing is there's not many times or engagements that I've seen that I've used this radar and it's not like I'm going to go up into a cap and you know radar and hunt DDs down because you're going to be spotted from the moon anyways or even if you're spotted you're your secondaries are not really uh, doing much, much because again, they're not, they don't go out as far. They're the maximum I, c I got these things out to, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong out there is about 11 uh, that, that I could see that I could get it out to. I think, uh, I don't I don't recall getting it out past 11, but uh, let me know if I, I could be wrong. But anyway, just speeding it up through here, just getting the uh, the game going, but uh, just just seeing how we're, we're gonna progress. The Rhode Island, as you can see, the play style is really more of to my personal opinion, I thought it would be like a Georgia flanking, but I really just am very patient with the Rhode Island where I'm just slowly creeping in, utilizing that concealment where I'm, you can see right there, my concealment is at detection. Let me read here. A 12.3. So 12.3, you're talking like cruiser level kind of detections for a battleship. The guns are great. They're accurate for, for what you need. And you're getting, like I said, starting fires with those high caliber guns. You get the eight caliber guns in front, kind of like that Jean Bart uh, French style battleship, uh, what is it, Bourgogne or Alsace, where you have the front eight guns. So you can kind of do a nose in kind of style gameplay. I do like to take advantage of all 12 guns. So I do like using uh, more of this angling right here, firing the 12 guns. Uh, there, it's okay. Uh, decent angles, not bad. It's like I said, the the bread and butter of this thing for me, honestly, is firing a lot of HE shells or AP shells. Also, set it out really, really uh, great as well. And just using that speed, the uh, the ability to heal quickly, as you can see right here. Damage con both those fires heal, boom right off the bat, bringing back that health. Not that much helpful from what we have, seventy four thousand to start with. Where I would rather have probably in the eighty thousand range, a little higher. Um, but I digress on that one. But now you can see we can maneuver the ship very easily around the map where it's really a, a very quick uh, repositioning, re, a quick reaction to wherever the battle needs you to be. The range is decent. It's 21 kilometers. Anything further than that, I think the shells dispersion starts getting a little wonky. But you can see right here, we're still hitting targets. Uh, you know, out there that uh, need to be hit about 4, 12 to 15 kilometer ranges, and you're still starting enough de uh, decent fires. And again, I like this, especially when we're playing in a div right here, where I can just uh, wait for the uh, the destroyer to go out, scout, and do everything a destroyer player likes to do. But really, the, the Rhode Island is great for coming in with heavy firepower, a great backup. 
It citadels cruisers like crazy. It's pretty awesome, and it can citadel as you're going to see later. Battleships, uh, and in a very good brawling kind of knife fighting way, which is interesting. But as you're going to see later in the video, starting another fire right there, go undetected right there. As you can see, nobody spawning. We're positioning inside islands. We've got that um, the uh, captain perk right there. Where we, uh, it's called dazzle, not dazzle. I think it's called dazzle. No, it's uh, swift and silent. Where basically, if you're undetected, you get a little bit of uh, extra boost to your speed. We got the engine boost up, and you can see this thing is cooking. It's going up to 40 plus knots, where it's going faster than some destroyers can, which I do appreciate. And then, of course, it also can go in and start tanking, uh, and not not prolonged amounts of taking, I would say, but more kind of. Um, I guess you could say the along the lines of uh, a Georgia Schlieffen kind of where you don't have as much HP, but if people want to focus fire, they can melt it down. But if I go one on one with somebody, I think I could do it out in a Rhode Island. It's pretty, pretty uh, OK in that regard. Uh, I wouldn't go up against something that would be way even more heavier, like, uh, let's say, uh, what's another heavy battleship? I would say Kremlin. Yeah, Kremlin would be a little bit scary to go against. Uh, uh, way more health pool. I mean, it's got at least another 30,000 uh, plus health pool than we do, so that's probably why you don't tank too much in Royal Island. But watch this situation over here where we have a Shikishima. We're going to switch to AP right here. AP is horrendous and pretty powerful. Great angles. And uh, Citadel's cruisers, like I said. Oh, and there. Speaking of cruisers, here's the Shapayev. And right here, we have broadside. And just look what these guns can do. Especially if we can get all of them to connect and open fire. That's just the front two guns. And boom, he goes down. You really can't stop that full salvo from a Rhode Island at that distance, especially the AP angles that great. Reload is decent right there, as you can see. And again, our health uh, is already ready to go. Our heal is on. Off cooldown, ready as always. And right now, the speed is awesome because right here, we're just going to outmaneuver the, the Shikishima. And notice that we already know Japanese guns are very, very slow to turn. So we're going to use the speed to get on this bad side, his weak side. So he doesn't have enough time to adjust his guns, so he'll decide to ignore us. His secondaries can't do crap. Our secondaries really are not penetrating much of the armor other than secondary structure. And that's really not what we're uh, celebrating route. We're going to celebrate the ability to shoot these blasts, these guns, right into the belly of the demon. And boom, like they're a great citadeling of these guns pretty quick. The turret uh, traverses are decent as well. And that is our splash two second club right there. 83,000 in the first 10 minutes of the game. And now we're going to use our speed to turn around and act like a destroyer, which, is, again, I do like the Rhode Island for that aspect. It's just quick and nimble, easy to get around the map in, for again, for a battleship. And we're going to go ahead and press to the Charlie cap and cap that for our team. And then, again, we have our heels. We have our radar. We have engine boost. So another great aspect of that about that is we have a lot of abilities that allow us to do these kind of things that where most other battleships would be able to do. But I do fairly enjoy it very well. I wish it would bring it back, uh, you know, maybe sooner than later so that you guys can take advantage of the Rhode Island. Maybe, maybe in a different resource than just what we had to do to grind them. Get switching to AP right here. We got to start a fire on the Yorktown. Now the HE is still good. I mean, I'm not to say, but nobody can resist the temptation or to sit a, a a CV with full AP right here. So as it comes off cooldown, aiming right at the water line and full blast, full send. And that's just the front two turrets right there. And look at that dispersion. Very, very nice and group. Ooh, we only get a couple. We get a couple of prints. Well, maybe the last uh, back turret's best turret. Right, boom. There we go. We got it. Splash three. 100,000 damage for the game. And now we are spotted by... We have the Alaska here. Now, Alaska, a little bit heavier battle cruiser. Now, we're checking out the AP on this. Now, he is kind of angled a little bit, but I still think I could get maybe a Citadel. But again, Alaska's and uh, Puerto Rico's Citadel is hard to find right there. And we get an overpin, which is odd. And, yep, now we'll try that again. That is a bad example of why I like the AP. But the AP on Rhode Island is still good. I definitely recommend it. Now, Alaska is probably going to angle. And, yep, he's going to turn left and angle a little bit more towards us. Notice that dispersion on the AP. I had to turn away for a second there. And, you know, we get four overpins again, but a little bit more juicier damage. And he goes down while Alaska is now taken out. And now we have the Club Air to deal with. Now, look at the maneuverability of this thing. Club Air torpedoes, I would say, are fairly quick at close range right here. And we are able to stop with the help of our engine boost and a great turning radius right there. And, oh, my gosh, we have a Vermont broadside to us. Is he looking at us? I'm worried about that. Now, you can see right here, we didn't build for seconders, but they are still enough. Uh, dispersion baked into it. It has that uh, uh, the Ohio kind of Georgia style secondaries that will hit a very good close range over time. So you just got to get a bunch of them on target. And boom, we get a Citadel on the Vermont. That's what I'm talking about. Citadeling battleships, very, very good in Rhode Island. And again, seconders are still firing off and cooking. Aim at the waterline. Full send. We got the back turret, best turret again. And do we get it? 
Oh, stole, steal kill from the Thunder. All right, let's go ahead and readjust the guns. Quick reloading. I like the 18-second reloads on these guns right now. And do we get this club air shot? And we do. We had that radar up just for a reason, and that is why we get it. We get splash four, and then that is 138,000 damage. And all that's left is a Yo Yang right here. And we're going to go ahead and turn back around and cap that ca uh, Charlie cap that we were supposed to do. And we've spotted the Yo Yang, and this is where radar comes into play right here because we definitely are going to need it to spot Yo Yang out there in the distance because we do not like his deep water torpedoes. Again, our heel is uh, back from cooldown. Engine boost almost ready to go again, and front turret guns are facing H uh, shells of HE are ready to plow, and we are following the Thunder using him as a shield, and uh, let's see here. We, you can see my perk right there. If we're fire flooding, one fire or flood will increase our reload time, or decrease the reload time for our main battery guns, which is a pretty interesting perk. I do like that myself. And you notice our health, we've been able to manage it around the 53,000, 60,000 range for just using a few heals and damage conning quickly. So, And here we go, Yu Yang for the Kraken here, opening fire, full send. And then look at that dispersion. I love the dispersion on these guns, and they're pretty awesome. And boom, makes uh, short use of destroyers. Kraken unleashed five kills, 140,000 damage in the Rhode Island. Definitely, definitely fun ship to play. Wish you guys could get it if you already have it. It is an awesome ship. And uh, as always, uh, build will be at the end of the screen. But right there, look at those stats. Pretty, pretty darn fun. Awesome. 111 secondary hits. We're not even building for it. So you can see that the secondaries are pretty incredible uh, outright for what they are. But as always, Hope you enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments section. And as always, make sure you say hi out there. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Cheers.